For most PC gamers, trying to get into the PC space for the first time usually meant that you started with your own first custom budget PC, which used to cost about five to six hundred dollars. But with today's market and GPUs being three to fifteen hundred dollars more than they originally listed as, and the second hand market being completely out of control, it seems that the budget option is went from five to six hundred dollars to a thousand dollars is you getting lucky, which is absolutely insane. But I was able to pick up this PC behind me for about 600 bucks, and maybe you can too. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5, and today we're going to be looking at a PC that I was able to actually pick up for that good old budget range price that we used to know and love at that five to six hundred dollar price point. I was able to actually pick up this PC I'll be showing you guys today for about six hundred bucks. It took me two different purchases to make it, but six hundred bucks was the total, and that is crazy. Now, if you've been involved in the PC space, you know how big a deal that is just to even hear five to six hundred dollars for an entire PC. It would definitely make some ears perk up. But then you would immediately think, well, this had to be an absolute garbage heap of PC because nobody's out here selling anything that's worth anything for a decent price. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, you'd be hard pressed to find a GPU that wasn't completely off the rails in price. Wouldn't matter if you were talking retail or secondhand market. Used or new, wouldn't matter. They are insane. Even GPUs like the 1050 Ti that should cost about $100 to $150 brand new are going for over $300. Which makes it even crazier that I was able to get a 1050 Ti, a Ryzen 3700X, a Lian Lee Cool 2, Corsair Vengeance White Ram, a B450 Strix motherboard, and a 700 watt power supply, all for 600 bucks. Wild. Now obviously we gotta put this thing together, but we're gonna be adding some more RGB to it with some stuff I got around the office just to give it that extra look. Because hey, it's a vibe, a tech vibe. Then we're gonna be checking out some gameplay and seeing what this $600 system can do.
Okay, before we get into it, let's go ahead and check out the system specs. We got the Ryzen 7 3700X, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and for GPU, we have the 1050 Ti. We are playing on, let's see, what is our display? We're at 1080p, and well, let's get it going. One with me. That's one way to do it. I didn't even know there was one right there, but you know. Switching. Lethal off. Objective secure. Hey, help me out. Control point contested. Dang. I really wanted to get that sword kill. I really did. I want to be here. Get ready. You think this is what I want? This is for the people. This is for the people so they can see they want to see. Your primary objective is to kill them all. Up, soldier, win here and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. You've got your ass kicked in that one. We're sending you back to We lost that one, but we'll come back stronger next time. <laughs> Kinda dumb. A little stupid. A little ignorant, in my opinion. Gosh, this is so much better. Round one. Do not warn yeah. Me. Oh my god. Got everything for me. Easy. I'm trying. 
Uh, I'm trying to see where they are. No, no. Shoo! Bussin, bussin. the second time that I've actually used this 1050 Ti and honestly I've been impressed with it every time. It's actually able to do really good at 1080p and hold its own and kick out some pretty good graphics. Now it might not do the highest of FPS but it still does fairly well for the price especially. At 150 bucks if you can find this thing for that and you're struggling with the whole GPU PC thing guys that's a good go. It really is. It's not bad. And for a lot of people, this honestly would be more than enough. And some would be even grateful to even have anything right now. So if you're able to actually pick up one of these for that 150 bucks, guys, that's not a bad deal. Especially if you're looking for just a temporary solution. Or if you just want to build some other second PC. This is not bad. Now, for those of you that are interested in possibly trying to check out the secondhand market and trying to get a PC together, guys, I recommend that you keep yourself as safe as possible. And I know that might sound obvious, but some people might not actually think about this and have the experience with it. There are scammers out there, guys. There's a lot of scammers, so many right now, especially with so many people trying to buy PC parts and they are coming out in the thick. And people aren't always honest. So make sure that you are protecting yourself as much as possible. Me personally, I don't do anything on Facebook market that is not local. I make sure that I meet up in a very public place where there are lots of eyes to try and protect myself and just make sure that nothing bad goes bad. 
And also guys know that sometimes, you know, people try to sell you bad stuff. So I definitely make sure that I do everything I can to make that person prove to me that it works and I'm getting what I'm paying for. So guys, just be safe out there and be aware that there are risks involved. Guys, if you got some sort of value out of this, helped you in any sort of way, enjoyed the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. It definitely does wonders for the channel and it tells YouTube that I'm a decent YouTuber and they put my videos out there for more people to see. That's going to do it for the video. I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you. If you did enjoy the video, click here. You won't be disappointed.